Hey now, welcome to Lone Star Mini Restoration. Um, today I am focused on removing the outer seal from the other side. As you can see, the outer seal from here has already been uh, removed and it's actually taken me back one year when a friend by the name of Pete Raymond came to visit. He started educating me on uh, maybe how I want to repair spots versus uh, replace entire panels, um, all the above. He just started educating me all the way around, um, and it was wonderful. So, Pete, thank you. Um, but one thing I've learned that is very helpful is having the new part um, readily available when you're removing the old part. Because I have the floor pan, um, I can see the lips. Now, right here, and I'll, I'll bring in, a, I'll get a closer look at this. Uh, there's Right now, there's three layers. You've got the A post to B pill, post step. I don't know the proper name for the panel, but it has a lip on it. And then the floor pan um, has a matching lip that they get spot welded together. Clamp, bam, bam, bam. Um, and then the outer, the outer seal also had a lip on it. So there's a stack up here of three layers and for today only small steps for me i'm going to focus on removing the outer seal just because i want to see what the inner seal was like on the other side um, so but i'm going to show you a few clips when pete was here of of us starting to grind this down to remove the outer seal just to see what it was like underneath but also you know i watched um Stu's classics and Stu recently well in the last three four months he replaced this uh, doorstep um, and so I'm gonna be watching his video again just to kind of look at that and some other videos uh, but uh, Stu did a good job on replacing his step with this um, so uh, let's see yesterday day before I've already forgotten when I uh, refitted my rear subframe and it went in beautifully uh, I've now torqued down all the bolts um, going into the boot floor as well as the heel board and that the the uh, the rear subframe is going to stay as a jig once I start cutting this floor pan out I'm going to keep the uh, but that worked out really well that was in my last video um, but for now uh, I'll show you a few clips of us removing this outer seal uh, me and uh, Pete Raymond So, before this was put on, that inner cell would not be as bad as that. My goal here is to, I'm using a wire brush wheel and I am just going to grind down all this kind of dirt and grime and paint and I'm looking for I'm hoping just to reveal all the spot welds <laughs> okay so what it looks like to me is um, first of all it looks like the car was or at least the the, the uh, outer seal was red at one time um, and then I'm a little surprised I was looking for more like a spot weld clamp type of thing but it looks like <coughs> excuse me it looks like there's um, fillet spot welds and I don't know but if I had to guess I would say when they put the overseal on they probably drilled holes and then they you know did a spot fill spot weld um, but it looks like it's right in the seam if you can see I don't know if this camera can pick them up but one two three four five all the way down they look more like seam welds instead of in the flat area um, but it doesn't take much to grind away and you can see them a little bit better at least know right know exactly where they're at so I'm gonna let me finish this it'll just take another minute or two really and um, then I'll move on
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, rotate the uh, rotisserie over just a little bit so that I can clean up this, the top side of the, uh, or the inner, the inboard side of the uh, outer, outer sill. I'll grind this down so I can see that a little bit better. But uh, one good thing about the rotisserie, I can uh, rotate it to any angle that, that I want, so it's wonderful. Okay, I found that I really don't have to do anything here as far as grinding and looking for the spot welds because they are visible. And it looks like uh, the seam was feel, filled with, uh, uh, I don't know, it looks like a, a putty. I don't know if that's a proper sealant or not. Um, but I can see all the spot welds. I mean, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There, I don't know, there's probably 60 or 70 spot welds all right here. Um, no cleaning required, but you can see again that um, looks like it was red at one time. Uh, it's weird because I like the color of the, the, not baby blue, but like sky blue that I found in the inner wings. But now this um, outer sill looks like it was red. You know, I don't, I don't know what it was at one time, who knows. All right, so now um, I've undid all the spot welds along the bottom side and watch all this crap. I mean, it looks like, of course I've got to undo the other side, but I'll bring the camera through here so you can see. So, look at all this crap. I mean, this is what it looks like underneath the outer sill. Um, cutting that back was like doing surgery. Uh, I, I like that. And honestly, I mean, I don't know if you can see my, my trim line where I trimmed out all the spot welds. I think I did it with a little bit of finesse. Not bad. But, look at this crap. So, that's what's behind probably the typical outer sill. So now I'm going to uh, rotate it over a little bit. Or no, I'm going to rotate it all the way over. So, Or no, just a little bit so I can get the uh, upper spot welds. So, I've learned a lesson over the years. Like, whenever I'm cutting something... I like to support my tool with my hand. Probably what I need to do with welding, right? Now that I'm learning how to weld, but it gives me a better, much, uh, a, a much better um, stabilization, if you will. Whoa, there you go. Starting to come out. Look at that. Look at this crap. I, I can't see the camera because it's so bright out here. So I hope this is picking this up. But look at this. Look at all, look at all this. Look, inner seal intact. Not even a cut on it. Look at that. Beautiful. 
All right, pat myself on the back for uh, finesse and cutting, right? Surgical cutting on a mini. All right, I'm gonna keep going, this bad boy. All right, there she is. The outer seal. Um, I can't see the lens on the camera, so I don't know if this is picking it up, but the outer seal is now off. Um, wow, look at all this. All right, now I'm gonna spin it. Let's see, now I'm gonna spin it a couple times, try to get most of it off, and then I'm gonna do a little cleanup. All right, I think uh, I'm pretty much done with this episode. I, uh, the outer seals are now off. Um, not a bad job. Clean up, clean up all the rust, or at least most of it. I'll go back over to a time or two, and uh, I'll begin to study the metal and see what's next. So, thanks for watching. Uh, outer seals are complete. Bye just now.